Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into another exciting edition of Corey Comments On. I'm your host, Corey McKnight, and I hope that you're with me every Friday at 2 and 5 p.m. right here on All Western New York Radio for the show. Thank you so much for being with me here today on this very unlucky Friday, April 13th, 2018. Yes, it is Friday the 13th. I did not even realize until I woke up out of bed today, and then I was like, ah, that's why my day started so shitty, because it's Friday the 13th. Uh, it's also National Scrabble Day on a, a much lighter note. Something I enjoy much more than bad luck is a nice competitive game of Scrabble. And I'm pretty good. Pretty good. I used to play the Yahoo uh, Games version of it, which has a different name. I can't recall really what it is. But people would quit all the time because I was just annihilating them. Fucking genius. Now nah, I lost a lot. I don't know. When I play Scrabble in real life, I always lose and I always like brag how I'm good. National Scrabble Day. Anyway, play a game of Scrabble with your friend, coworker, loved one. I don't know. Expand your vocabulary. Anyways, moving on. Got a big show today. Uh, not really. It's always a big show, right? But not really. We are still on Judge Astacio watch. This might be something that I have to do every week here. We are on Astacio watch 2018 right now. Um, big news. I reported last week that she tried to buy a gun. From Dick's Sporting Goods, she later claimed after the incident that it was actually her sister trying to buy the gun and not her, and that they were mistaken for each other. That was a lie. It was her. She was in two different Dick's stores throughout Rochester trying to buy a shotgun, and both stores denied her, with the second one contacting authorities, and she has now not only been arrested and been in front of a judge now for a felony, she's being charged with a felony, for violating probation by trying to buy a firearm. She is also now suspended, finally, (laughs) as a court judge, or as anything to do with the legal system. But she was suspended with pay, which is a big sticking point, because I reported last time that she's only worked one day out of the past, like, 220 or something like that. And now she doesn't technically have to work because she's suspended, but she's still getting paid, so what's what's the difference, really? She's just got a new charge on her uh, record, but it's a felony. That could be really bad. She could be, I don't know, disbarred or whatever. I don't know what you call it, getting rid of a judge or taking him off the bench. God, I hope that happens. I think most of the area hopes that that happens. Get this lady some help. Put her in jail. I've been saying it since the beginning. She just has to spend a long time in prison to or jail, whatever, to figure out why the hell she has lost her mind and get her fucking marbles back in a row. So yeah, Stasio Watch 2018. We may be watching her from the other side of some glass with a phone in her hand for the rest of the year. I don't know what she'll get as a sentence, but if she's charged or convicted, whatever. But anyway, Stasio Watch, moving on from that, which I could, I could talk about that forever, but uh, only so much time here on the show. I mean, I could, I'll could i probably do like a, a four-hour podcast on Judge Estacio, maybe in the future, if anybody would be interested in that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Friday the 13th, I wanted to have just a little bit of fun, and I think I've actually done this before on the show. I can't remember. I think I did a uh, Superstitions-themed show, and even if I did before, fuck it, I want to do it again today because it's funny, and it's fun, and it's Friday the 13th, so it's in the spirit of... Uh, bad luck and superstitions and all that, I picked a few that I found online that I thought were funny that Corey wanted to comment on. So, weird superstitions from around the world. Um, Before I get to that, I was trying to think if I really had any superstitions that I do more often than just once in a great while. Because, I I mean, if you see a ladder in your path or whatever, you might make a joke and be like, oh, let me make sure I won't walk underneath it. But that doesn't really happen too often, so... There's some people that wake up every day and they're like, I have to put my fucking left sock on first or everyone I know is going to die, like stuff like that. So like daily superstitions. And I was, I don't know, I don't really think I have any, but when I drive, I've noticed that, I don't know, I'm, I'm a pretty decent driver. If you ask my friends, they would probably fully disagree with that. But I think I'm a pretty decent driver. I've never caused an accident in, like, 10 or 12 or 13. I don't know how long I've been driving. Never caused an accident. I did get hit once by somebody else. But when I'm driving, I constantly check to make sure that my lights are on. If it's nighttime or, like, evening or it's raining during the day, 
and I'll check and I know that they're on and I'll drive a couple minutes and I keep, I just keep checking it. I keep turning the knob forward thinking that maybe they're not on. I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird thing that I do. And it, I feel like it just keeps me from being, uh, hit head on by a semi truck. Probably like the one that you can hear in the background right now. It's actually a garbage truck. Um, but if I have my lights on, maybe they'll see me and they won't kill me. I don't know. So that's like one, I guess, superstition. I just, I always check it and make sure that we're good there. But some other, uh, Funny ones from around the world. Here we're going to start in the Philippines, and you can find all kinds of fucking crazy stuff going on in the Philippines, but <clears throat> as this very nice, uh, loud garbage truck goes by as I'm recording the show, the nerve of these people, they don't know about the podcast? Anyways, in the Philippines, it is a tradition that you're not supposed to go straight home from a person's wake or funeral or whichever. You are supposed to make a stop on the way home to shake off the bad spirit. So it can be stop for coffee or for food, like at McDonald's or whatever, and you got to make a stop. You can't go straight home. When you do get home, you got to change your clothes outside the house before you go in to not let the bad spirit into your home, or that's the idea anyway. So can't go straight home from the wake, and then you got to change your clothes outside. I don't know if you have to get fully naked. Like, down to the underwear? Do, do ghosts travel in underwear? I don't know. Spirits? I mean, they can, like, walk through walls and stuff. They can probably see through your underwear. But to not let the bad spirit into your home, I mean, I get sort of the idea, but it seems like a fucking insult. Like, if I'm dead and everybody comes to see me, whatever, pays their respects, and then they go home and they're like, oh, let me get that fucking aura off of me. Hated that guy. I don't know. It seems kind of, like, <laughs> weird to me. Well, that's one from the Philippines that I thought was interesting. Another one in Denmark, which is a really cool country. I would love to visit, by the way. Not that you care. It is bad luck to speak about private or important matters with a cat in the room with you. Because they are said by tradition to be terrible gossipers that may let your secret out. Or your secret might come back to you if a cat is in the room and, and that's the thing that let it out. I don't know. Cats don't talk. Not that I know of, anyway. But I thought that was actually interesting because cats are sneaky as shit. And sometimes when you look over, like, my brother has a cat that is super annoying. And sometimes I'll look over and they're just giving you a look while you're talking, like, I hate this guy. Or, like, they're, like, plotting your death, I feel like, a lot of the time. So I wouldn't doubt if they let out all of your secrets and get you in trouble and stuff. Fucking cats. I'm, I'm okay with cats, but they are very sneaky. They're okay, though. In Lithuania a country you probably never hear about. I hear about it once in a while, but I forgot they existed kind of until this morning. But in Lithuania, people are told to never whistle while you're indoors because it may actually summon demons. So anytime that I've ever been working in a restaurant or something or in a kitchen or whatever, or doing something, usually you whistle while you work, right? Or while you're walking around or something like that. But if you're indoors, you're summoning demons. And that explains everything. I would be constantly trying to get through the day somehow, and I would whistle while I'd be working at restaurants or whatever, and my day was always fucking terrible. I was summoning demons. Who knew the whole time? I mean, I wasn't in Lithuania, but I don't know. Do these superstitions, like, go across international borders? Do they have to check their customs on the way over? Because they're not getting to the U.S. <laughs> Nothing to do with anything weird. Trump's not letting that happen. Okay, last one here before uh, we're going to wrap it up is in France. This is, this is my favorite one, so I saved it for last. In France, where everything is weird, and not everything, they have good beer and stuff, but stepping in dog poop with your left foot is good luck. It will make you lucky. But if you step in it with your right foot, of course, it's bad luck. Now, I'm trying to think about all the times that I've stepped in, stepped in dog poop, which are probably quite a few. I, I mean, I'm trying to you know, rack my memory for all these poop memories, but I really feel like when I go to envision myself checking my shoes for poop, that it's always on my right shoe whenever it did happen. And again, that explains everything. Anytime I step in shit, it's with my right foot and it brings bad luck. I don't live in France. I don't really like French people. Well, I don't like French Canadians. I should make it more specific. French Canadians are very annoying and pompous, generally. Uh, French people might be cool from the actual country of France, but if you're in Quebec or whatever, Montreal, 
I probably don't fuck with you because you're probably a Canadiens fan and you're really annoying at all the Sabres games. Stop being so fucking annoying. And Leafs fans too. Anyways, not getting into sports today because then we'll go way too long, but those are some weird superstitions from around the world. Uh, some that may or may not apply to you, but I want to know if you have any weird ones that you do on a daily basis or, you know, during before a certain event, before work, something like that. Do you have any weird superstitions and what are you doing today to protect yourself from the bad juju of Friday the 13th? Something bad might happen. Watch out for the black cats. And don't talk when they're in the room. Don't let them cross your path. Just stay away from cats today for the most part. Don't go to the fucking animal shelter today and adopt a kitty. It won't go well for you. But if you got anything you want to add to the conversation, please do hit me up on Twitter at AllWNYCorey, as always. We can talk about whatever you'd like. And uh, I hope you're with me next week for Corey Comments on every Friday at 2 and 5 p.m. right here on All Western New York Radio. I appreciate you guys joining me today, and uh, I'll see you in a week or so. Everybody take care and good luck today out there. Corey McKnight signing off. We'll see you.